What's up, guys? Welcome back. Kicking it with Lose Fix It. Um, today we got the um Surpass Hobby Brushless uh, ESC and Motor. This is the four forty three seventy KV forty five amp Motor ESC combo. <clears throat> um, I'm just here. I'm gonna give you a little intake my intake on what i think of this motor in the esc um pretty much i put it on uh, my relaro i didn't want this car to have as much power you know i wanted it to be fast but not i wanted it to be too as fast you know these they say these uh motor and esc it can run off a 2s or 3s like using it on a 10 scale speed runner i don't think it's that bad i didn't have any problems i didn't try to put it on the 3s yet but for the 2S, I don't think it's that bad. You know, it's not the best. You know, this thing is definitely not kicking crazy speed. But it's not the worst, you know, on a, a 2S. I wouldn't advise using it on a 3S. They say it can't handle a 3S, but that's the max. So if you do use a 3S, be real cautious about how you're running it on that 3S. Don't just go crazy drifting around and everything because... You know, nine times out of ten, your ESC might start smoking. I'm not going to lie. It might start smoking. You know, I didn't experience, but I treat it with uh, care. You know, I'm not just out there just doing anything with the motor, just trying to uh, overwork the motor on it with a 3S. A 2S, get yeah, have fun because I definitely did, you know. So, um, I put it on this car because I didn't want this car to have that much speed. I wanted it to be, you know, run fast, a nice speed runner, but not a crazy you know, getting up in the 80s and 90s, you know, I just wanted to be sitting at somewhere, as I believe this one sit at somewhat about 45, 250. I didn't um, put a speedometer on it yet, but I definitely will. And I believe this one could get up to about 45, 50. I got the 3S on the other one. I got a Spectrum on the other one, 3S. And I believe that one getting up almost about 60 something, almost 70. You know, close to 70. I'm not going to say almost 70. About 64 to 65, that other one could get up, you know, at max on a, straight, on a straight run. And I believe this one could probably do about 45 to 50. No lie. So, um, I'm going to take it out on a test run and um, show y'all what it could do. I'm not going to just talk about the motor and don't show y'all how fast this thing could run with the motor. You know, the power on it. Is definitely a good, it's definitely good power. It definitely moves. You know, it's not, you know, just, it's not a bad motor, but it ain't the best. Now, this one that I got, the one that I got is not the most powerful one that they have. I think I got the most weakest one that they have, honestly, because it comes, I got the 45 amp. It comes up to a 66 amp, you know, so I'm all the way at the bottom, you know, to get the baddest one, that one at 66 amp probably be like that uh, 3S Spectrum that I have. So, um, I mean, she's, it's not bad. The, the, the way it looks, it don't look, if you're going off looks, it definitely don't look like the motor. Yes, the motor looks definitely tough. The motor looks like, yes, yes, I will definitely get that. But the ESC, it looks like, I ain't gonna lie, the ESC looks a little cheap. But it, it handles, it handles my 2S battery, it runs. So honestly, my review for this Surpass um, Hobby Motor ESC. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go off of the performance, the price, and the look. So to, the performance of it, it's a one thumb up because it's not the best. It's not the fastest, you know? It can run, it does run, and it, it runs good. It's smooth, I'm not gonna lie, it's smooth. But it's not the best, it's not the fastest. So I wouldn't even put this one inside one of my bashes. <clears throat> I would use it for what I'm using it for. A small speed car, is, if this was a drift car, that motor would be perfect. If this was a drifter, perfect. Um. The look of it, the motor, two thumbs up. The ESC uh, looks kind of cheap. 
So the ESC, I would go one thumb down, honestly. The price of it is definitely a affordable motor ESC. If you got a 110 scale car, your motor broke, your motor, uh, something happened to your motor and you want to swap out and get this motor, yes, I would get this motor. I would get a little bit stronger motor. Um, if you just got a car laying around and you just want to build it into something and you don't want it to be like a, a, a real hard basher like what I did with my Pink Panther car, go back on that one, the Pink Panther where I changed it from, I converted it from a gas car to electric car. That was a good video. You definitely want to go back on that. But a motor that I will put inside there is like this one. So overall, I would give this one a half thumb. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I would definitely give it a half thumb. I couldn't give it two thumbs. I couldn't give it a full thumb because it's not the best. It is better motors, ESCs out there. I just got this one to test it out and I put it inside this car and you know, it works. It, it run in the car, but it's not the best. It's not the worst. The look, the ESC, like I said, it looked cheesy. It looked cheap, kind of, the ESC. Um, and it was cheap. I think I spent about $50 for the whole setup. So I can't complain how the ESC looks because it was cheap. So if you're talking a bargain ESC and motor, I would give it one and a half thumb up now. Just so you know for anybody out there that don't have it like that. You know, if you got a speed run and you're looking for a new motor and you, you ain't trying to get over 55, 60 miles per hour, go ahead, man. Knock yourself out. So that's how I'm going to call it. You know you know me. I'm not going to give my opinion off what nobody says or what nobody thinks. This is my opinion or how I feel or how I'm looking at it from the money that I spent on. <clears throat> and that's my opinion. If you're looking for it, my honest opinion, it get a half thumb up. If you got, if you bargaining and you ain't got it like that, thumb and a half. Because it is cheap and... You know, you're definitely going to get your money's worth for the price that you're spending. You're going to get your money worth. So I'm going to call it like that. I'm going to kick out of here. I'm going to let this thing run. Show you how this motor goes on the, out, on the outro of the video. Stick around for the outro so you can see how this thing goes. And next time, like, share, subscribe, man. Come back. Dude, that last one was 30. If I could get her over that 30. See, she keep pulling to the right. She's pushing, but she keep pulling to one side. There she go. That's Max right there. That's it. That's all she getting. That's it right there. Let's see what I got. Where's she at? 31 31 so the max speed of 31 and that was max I gave her everything I pulled the throttle all the way down and hold it for about two seconds but Fun time. Woo! I tell you, this motor not a speed runner, but she definitely fun, boy.
she's definitely fun so we're gonna call it that 31 is the max